Hello, Oklahoma Sooner fans. Welcome to the pregame of the Kansas Jayhawks and the University of Oklahoma Sooners. The homecoming game for the 2012 football season. Coming up in the next couple of minutes, we'll let you know who's calling the homecoming game this year. Some things you might not have known about the uh, the program. The, the last get time that these two teams met. The best matches between these two teams. Uh, the trap trap game's about Bob Stoops, the division titles, the, about the coaches, injuries, and my goals for this team. They need to get done if they're going to win. That All that's coming up right now on Boomer Sooner 1982 and the Kansas Jayhawks and Oklahoma Sooner pregame show. <laughs> All right, as I said, first of all, for the pregame for Kansas and Oklahoma, homecoming game, I'll give you the, the announcers for the game. It's on Fox Sports Net, Fox Sports Oklahoma, your local Fox Sports affiliate. Uh, here in the southwestern Oklahoma region, the announcers for this particular matchup are Mike Morgan, J.C. Pearson, and Laura Mc, McNeeman. Mc, uh, they called the uh, UTEP Oklahoma game. That's the last Oklahoma game that they called, and it was pretty uh, pretty entertaining to hear their comments on what's going on. Some things you might not have known about Kansas is that uh, they are six and six in bowl games. In those twelve, four of them were coached by Mark Mangino, including their uh, fourth, their second ever BCS game, which was their second at Orange Bowl, and they haven't been back to a bowl game since that time. The uh, last time that these two teams played was last year when third-ranked Oklahoma took care of business against Kansas, 41-17 to in Lawrence. The greatest, the biggest win for the biggest or closest game that uh, they've ever had in the Stoops era was when, in 08, when Oklahoma and Kansas played in Norman, and it was a 42-35 victory for Oklahoma, that was the closest. The biggest win in the Stoops era, in my opinion, was in 05. We went and beat them 19-3. We played the game in Kansas City because they wanted the game moved to Kansas City. They wanted a bigger arena. They was, and they got a bigger arena. And freshman quarterback Rhett Bomar played very well in this game. And that's when, uh, that's when you found out that he was going to be a good quarterback. And uh, they beat the they beat Kansas. He beat he helped beat Kansas in an NFL stadium. Trap games under Bob Stoops. I mean, you know, he's had a couple of these, obviously, uh, and he's won them a, a, quite a bit. '99, they played Louisville. Right before they played Notre Dame and Texas. Um, in that game, Oklahoma won the game 41 to 21 on the road. In 20, 2003. We uh, played at Texas Tech. It's the last one we had at Texas Tech since two to two almost three weeks ago. We beat them in Lubbock, fifty-five to twenty-six, right before we played Kansas State in the title game that year. Oh uh, five is when it happened. Isn't another one that happened? That was a great game, by the way. We played that one with Baylor, thirty-seven to thirty in overtime, right before Rhett Bomar and company went down or went up to Lincoln and won for the first time in almost 20 years. And finally, the 31-24 victory over Utah. It ended up later being a victory by Oklahoma over Florida State the next week. Um, the division titles for each program. Kansas has one, 
He had they have it in two twenty two thousand and eight. Uh, for Oklahoma, they've got a couple more of them. They have one in, um, they have one of them in 02. They actually they have the first one in 2000. Then they have one in 02, 03, 04, 06, 07, 08, and 2010. That's all the division titles. Uh, as far as the Rock Jayhawks, they have not played in a benefacto Big 12 championship game. Uh, they haven't played in it. They won the division once. They tied it. With the brat, with the Missouri, Missouri ended up being the team invited in 08. Oklahoma, of course, has played in so many more. Uh, of course, the first one is where you, the first one was in 2000. We played Kansas State, and uh, we played them in Arrowhead Stadium. We later, the next two years later, in 2002, we played Colorado in San Antonio. 04, we played Colorado again in Kansas City. 06, we played Nebraska in Kansas City. 07, we played Missouri in San Antonio. 08, we played Missouri and Kansas City. And then most recently, 2010, we played Nebraska in Cowboys Stadium. Uh, for the Jayhawks, Rock Char Jayhawk, Charlie Weiss has played in three bowl games. He has a record of one and two while at Notre Dame. Uh, the the win come the one win comes in 2008 when they beat Hawaii in the Hawaii Bowl 49 to 21 in Hawaii Oklahoma Bob Stoops seven and six bowl games all at Oklahoma in 2008 when they played in the Hawaii Bowl Oklahoma lost in the uh, benefacto. Well, it was the 2008 National Championship game to Florida, 24-14. Um, there were some injuries in this. Uh, there are injuries to be listed here um, on both sides. We'll start with Kansas because their, their list just isn't as long as Oklahoma's. Uh, for Kansas, it's Riley Spencer, an offensive lineman out with a knee injury, and Perez Candle a linebacker out with a knee injury. Uh, switching sidelines to Ard Munch, the Oklahoma Sooners. Of course, most recently, Nila Casatati was hurt, hurt his knee the Texas Tech weekend. Marshall Munsell hurt his knee the off week. Chaz Nelson, the defensive end, is out with a knee. Offensive lineman Tyler Evans is out with a knee. And uh, the next... Four of them, I do believe, are suspensions. Uh, of course, Stacey McGee, Trey Franks, Quentin Hayes, and Jazz Reynolds all still suspended up to this point. Uh, if they're coming back this year, it's about that time that they get healthy and start coming back because uh, the suspension, in my opinion, is just about up if I understand everything that Bob Stoops is saying. Finally, the three goals that I have for this ball club, it's pretty easy. Offensively, Jalen Saunders, you have got to get Saunders involved because he's only played in one game. And that was the Red River Rival in the Red River War last week. And you're about to go into a gauntlet to where you might need an extra receiver or two. Uh, because after this, they'll play Notre Dame. They'll play Iowa State, who is bound for an upset. They're going to have to play West Virginia. They'll play Oklahoma State, Baylor, TCU, they'll play these good teams where they might need an extra receiver here or there. Of course, they'll obviously get Jazz Reynolds back. But the, if they were to get Jazz Reynolds and Jalen Saunders, that would be all but good. Uh, defensively, keep on creating turnovers and get to Chris or Michael Cummings. Uh, turnovers has been nothing new to this team. They've caused six of them the last two games. Keep on doing that, guys. Get in the face of the quarterback and... Uh, Christ or Michael Cummings. I say that because last weekend, of course, Dane Chris got the start, but late in the game, when the game was just about over, and uh, they, they needed some scoring to be done to keep the Oklahoma State game within stri which in striking distance, uh, they called on the freshman, freshman Michael Cummings. He came in, and he got really involved really quick. So look for him to maybe get involved in that. And finally, as far as goals are concerned for this team, uh... Let Brown do something for you. Justin Brown, the wide receiver, punt returner, kick returner. This would be the game that he's got to do something, guys. 
Uh, he's got, he had a 44 yarder the other night, which which is not, not not too bad, not great, but okay. Um, now now it's time to hold all hard bars back. Let him go. Uh, let him return a couple of kicks. Let him return a couple of punts. Uh, the guy can obviously be a receiver. Let him do what he does off the field too. All righty. Well, this is this is fun here. Um, first of all, next I'm going to do this for you guys. Um, let's see. Here it is. This right here, if you can see it, is the official OU app. Uh, it is the official OU app. When this thing loads, what it will do is it will bring you a menu of teams and games to be played. Uh, they, they have, uh, well, they have all the teams. As you can see, all sports, football. It, let's do football here for a second. Football. And um, then you'll tell it to come back over. And they'll show you all sorts of videos and stuff. And so that will all happen there, um, as far as that's concerned. Um, there's also another cool-looking one. Where is it at? Right here. Found it. It's it's right here. It's called ESPN College Football. It's free. It's a free app. Uh, what it'll do is when it comes up right here, top stories, it'll tell you all the top stories that are coming along. It'll also give you an opportunity to pick a team or two. I picked two of them. I picked my Sooners because that's who my team obviously is because of these podcasts and everything. My cousin's at TCU, so I also like to keep an eye on TCU. So that happens there. So it's very obvious that it's it's fun to do that way, and uh, you can keep keep you keep your team keep involved with your football club that way too. Or you can, like I said, you can keep involved with any ball club. Now the ESPN app, as I said, is free. The OU app, I believe, is free to download. Now, to get it to actually work and to actually do the audio for football, basketball, baseball, and softball and all that good stuff, I think it's $9.99 for a year subscription, which is not too bad. Or I think it's like 5 bucks for a or something like that for a month. But you can do the monthly subscription or the yearly subscription. I do the yearly um, just so that I can do the yearly. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, hope hope to see you guys at homecoming. And as always, Boomer Sooner!